WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very beautiful and sunny Delray Beach, Florida. We should all be outside. We should be doing this show from the outside, but we're not. And this is your 2 p.m. update. And currently we've got a market that is mixed. The Dow's up 100 points while the S&P is down 12. The Nasdaq's up 191. The Russell's down 16. The semis are off 50. The trannies are up 48. Huh. Is this, a, is this a sign that uh, global capital is flowing into the Dow? Because that's where the Dow would bottom first. That, that's really a sign of what global capital is doing out there. Gold is off 18 bucks, so it's off its lows. It may be forming a bottom. We took a look at, during the uh, Trader's Ed show, the price level that price needed to close above. Uh, so I, I don't recall what that number was. So 19 something. Uh, no, it wasn't 19 something. But, but in any event out there, um, let's go take a look at our indice charts. Let's begin by doing that. So we'll switch over to those. We're going to start with uh, taking a look at the Dow. So we're talking about the Dow. We're talking about global capital out here. If we see what the Dow Jones, the cash indice has done, it's got a nice TD9 count top. Sends price back to support. Well, it did that uh, two days ago. It did it this morning. That level of support is 35, 545, 41. That's a TD9 breakout level, the actual low, 35, 542, 87. You got to love that. So it tested and it rejected that level. What that signals to you and I is we should see the Dow move up to about the 36.065 area. That would become its level of resistance. This is the cash industry. We're not looking at the equity future contract out here. If we take a look at the S&P 500. It has a confirmed Rhodes Mintum indicator top out there. It would suggest lower price. But what you and I know is that the ES Mini is holding the support at the bottom of its daily profile. The NDX 100, which has a uh, confirmed topping signal. Uh, that was generated yesterday, Rhodes Mint Indicator Top would be suggesting lower price, but we know the NQ is holding the support of its daily profile. The Russell 2000 is the wild card out here. It's in an A to B equals CD to the downside. It could be signaling to you and I it wants to go tackle the 2244 level. Uh, if it were to generate a bullish reversal candle, then it would be a Gartley buy pattern. We don't have that. The semiconductor index yesterday confirming a Rhodes Mint Indicator Top price below. It's also in change line suggesting lower price. The trannies are up a bit. They've got resistance at six. 16,932. Uh, the XAU could be pulling back to 130.32. That's a CD9 breakout level. So what do we know from these charts here? We know the Dow has reached support and is trading higher. Folks, would not surprise me to see that the bottom is in, at least just for the short period of time, at least through tomorrow, likely through uh, Friday and next Monday out here. But stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Tom O'Brien will take us on home. I'll see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock for the Trader's Ed Show. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks.